YouTube, how's it going? It's Corey with Tactically Average. Today we're going to go over, um, we have one main goal in mind and it is to unbox this beaut of a pistol back here. Um, but in my process of picking that up, I also picked up this other stuff here on the table and I really wanted to talk about it. Um, and just in today's market with everything going on and prices on everything, I, wanted every, I just wanted to make this video. I know I had made a video um, just linking, on, uh, linking where you guys can find ammo. I'll leave a, a link to that video right here. Make sure you go check that out if you are on the search for some ammo. Because as you can see, I have a 40 round mag full of ammo and a 30 round mag full of nine millimeter as well. And if you can see here on the table, I also just picked up another 250 rounds of nine millimeter. Um, so that's kind of the topic of this conversation um, in the beginning portion, then obviously we're gonna get to the unboxing of that. But um, first let's just kind of walk through what I picked up today and why I'm actually really excited for the channel um, and to kind of review everything. Um, so first let's start with what's in my hand here. So this is the CAA USA um, MK or MCK um, pistol stabilizing brace. So I picked up two, actually one for um, myself and one for my friend. Um, but this is uh, basically all is the pistol stabilizing brace. I do have this rigged up for my Glock 19. Um, I do have some ETS mags in here, um, but we won't get into a review of this because we are going to review this on the channel. Um, but that's one thing I picked up today. So I wanted to kind of show you that. Now to go on top of this, um, I picked up this Crimson Trace um, TCS25, uh, and this is a cheap little red dot um, that I picked up at my local store. Um, this and this was kind of the topic of the beginning portion of this video. So I went to um, a really local place, or not actually really local, but uh, a place that I've been going to for a couple of years. Um, and uh, I was able to pick this optic up for about 70 bucks. I looked online and they were going anywhere from 90 to $120. Um, so the topic of this conversation is be patient. If you guys are looking for optics, guns, um, anything in general, just be patient guys. And yes, this Glock 19 is clear. Drop the mag real quick, show you guys. Um, just so no one is saying anything, but yes, Glock 19 is clear. Um, but uh, if you are looking for guns right now, especially if it's not your first gun or even your second gun, just be patient. If it is your first or second gun and you really need it for self-protection and you kind of just need to go pick up something, awesome, do you? Um, you know, I really support um, you purchasing your first firearm. It's just a really bad time to buy guns right now, but shouldn't stop you from buying guns. But um, I was able to pick this up and I picked this up too. So I was able to get this about $20, $30 cheaper than I was able to get, um, what, that I was able to find this online. Um, I was able to find this for about 20 to $30 cheaper than I was able to find this online. And you guys are probably gonna be a little upset when you realize how much I paid for this. So this is 250 rounds. I was able to pick this up for 35 cents a round. So you do the math on that, 35 cents times two, 250. I paid for 250 rounds, what a lot of people were paying for 100 rounds, maybe 150 rounds. Um, you know, I've, I walked into some local places, some go local gun shops, and they're charging, you know, $50 a round for, fi uh, for, um, for 50 rounds of nine millimeter. Some people are charging $38, some people are charging $40. And don't get me wrong, the, 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 the gun stores aren't doing it maliciously, they're just paying too much for it. So obviously you have to pass that cost on to you. Um, the place I picked this up, um, I asked him just kind of off the cuff. I was like, hey, you guys have any nine millimeter in there? And he kind of put his head down, pulled me to the side. I was like, yeah, I got, he said, I got three boxes of uh, 250 rounds. Um, and uh, I said, how much, how much is it? He said it was uh, 35 cents a round. I asked him if I could buy all three. He told me no. I was able to score one. Um, but just be patient, guys. Don't feel like you have to rush out and buy 
um, nine millimeter right now when you you know you can find good deals on it just be patient whether you got to stand out um, you know at your local store to see what you like before they open or if you have to um, you know shop online ammoseek.com is going to be a fantastic place for you guys to check out because it's going to give you the best deals i mean i i believe it searches pretty much all the websites out there um, and it allows you to um you know, figure out what has the best deals, but even really, you know, just going to your local gun stores and being patient, not overpaying for stuff. So that's just what I just wanted to get into in the beginning. Don't overpay for your firearms, your ammo, and even your accessories right now. Um, I got these for, uh, I got both of these for, t again, you guys are probably going to hate me, for $225. Um, you can't find these really anywhere cheaper for like, I mean, Everywhere else I saw was about 250 bucks is what you could pick up one of these braces for, um, especially with Biden, um, you know, talking about potentially banning these things. Um, I was able to pick this up for a pretty good price. So um, just be patient. Check with your local dealers, see what kind of deals they can work out, especially if you're a loyal customer. Um, that's kind of how I get my deals on my ammo and on my uh, my guns as well. So the, my store actually, my local gun shop actually had this uh, listed for 800 bucks. I did not pay 800 bucks for that. Um, I paid significantly less than 800 bucks. But um, yeah, so just be patient. All right, so putting this to the side, now let's get into the unboxing of the pistol the whole reason you guys are here but just wanted to throw that little bit in there all right so this is the main reason we're doing this video so this is the h and k vp9 i am super excited about this gun um giving you a look at the sticker here so that is, let's get into unboxing this and give you my first impression. So um, obviously I looked at this gun before I purchased it at um, my gun store, but we're still going to go in uh, you know, do my first impressions on camera. So uh, we'll s skip the bottom part for right now. I'm just going to show you what's up top here. So you are going to get a lock just like every other manufacturer and their mother is gonna give you a, a nice lock there. I will say Walther actually brands theirs and H&K does not, so that's interesting. But, okay, so that's the first, but yeah, they don't brand their locks, but who cares, no one actually uses that anyway. Um, next time you see my safe, this is just a little sticker and this will be on that, uh, that safe. And then last thing is just your owner's manual. So, um, nothing too fancy there, but Let's move into the star of the show and this gun I am extremely, extremely excited about. Um, so this is the H&K VP9. So this is H&K's introduction to the polymer framed market. Um, this gun came out a few years ago, but this is one of the updated models. This is not the 2020 um, model that has the um, RMR cut up top here, but this is one of the newer versions and the way you know that is it actually comes with two 17 round mags um, And the other ones here As well, so this one comes with two 17 round mags That's how you know um, what version you're getting because the older VP9s I'm going to show you guys it's clear as well um, The older VP9s only came with two uh, 15 round mags. So um, yeah, this is the VP9 it is in nine minus chambered in nine millimeter. Um, you can see the logo here. You're gonna have some uh, slide serrations at the top of the slide here that are not very ergonomic. Uh, not I don't want to say ergonomic, but they're not very. I mean, to do a press check on that, you're mainly just kind of grabbing the the slide. There's, the serrations aren't very deep there. Um, back ones are a little bit better. Um, but speaking of the back uh, slide, you actually have these little. Um, I forget what they call them. It's basically a little grip to help allow you to help rack the slide. And they come in actually very handy from what I've heard. So pretty excited about that up here. Um, now going from the top of the slide, your sights here are not glow in the dark slide, um, glow in the dark slide or sights, but watch this little cool feature. So I have a light right to my left here so you can kind of see what the sights look like now. And give me one second. And then just with a little bit of light, you can see how they kind of glow a little bit more. Um, so 
these gl as soon as some sun hits, these really illuminate. So when you're outside, you're gonna be able to get your sights um, a lot quicker um, when you're outside. Um, so that's, they basically just get charged up. It's kind of interesting. Uh, they get charged up and it allows you to just see them a little bit better. And as I mentioned, this is a striker fired gun. So on the back here, you are gonna have your striker indicator here. Um, and speaking of striker, let's talk about this trigger. So this decision was actually, I was going to be buying this gun or um, a, a CZ P10C. And I went with this over the uh, CZ P10C because I like the look of this gun, but I also have big hands, as I mentioned in every video, and some of the back straps that we'll get to here in a second. But um, so let's look at this trigger here. So, some creep here, it's a little gritty, a little gritty here going up, and then you hit a hard wall, and then clean break, and your reset, audible, tactile, it's a little bit of a long reset, and then pull the trigger again. Um, I actually really like the trigger, so that's one of the reasons why I went with this over this P10C. I also figured I'd be getting... Um, the CZ as well eventually. So um, as you guys saw in my last video, um, if not, I'm gonna link it right here. It's my review of the Walther PPQ. Um, but just like the Walther, it does have the European mag release here. So on both sides, you can see the mag release is here. All you do is, this one actually makes it a little bit easier. You can use your, oh, your index finger and you drop that mag. Now, I will say this is a very, very, um, what I want to say, springy drop system. So watch it. Laying down, you can see how it pops up there. That's with a full mag as well, and it pops out of there. So it should be good for, um, you need to do you know quick reloads. Your mag should fall out every time. Um, speaking of mags, you do have this um, bevel here. So if you do have a mag stuck, it allows you to get a good purchase on your mag and pull out, <coughs> excuse me, and then pull out the, um, the mag as well there. So some other things I want to go over is the only, I would say, concern I have so far with this gun is going to be your um, slide release. It's not very, oh, as I say that, it does it. Um, it doesn't seem to be very, it doesn't protrude out very much. I don't know if you can see that, but it's almost, I don't wanna say flush with the gun, but it's very, very close to being flush. Um, so it's kind of hard to get a good purchase on it. Now I have been working on it, so that might be why it's, it's I'm doing it a little bit easier. But when I first got this um, a couple days ago, I was playing with this and I felt like I just couldn't get it. But you really have to push down hard on that to have a, uh, you have your slide release so that's the only little concern slash complaint i have of this gun so far now um let's take a look at what comes in the case and talk about these back straps um and why i'm another reason why i went over uh went with this gun over the p10c um you're gonna have multiple different back straps with this gun so you're gonna have a this is the one that came standard on the gun this is a little bit smaller one. And then what I did was I actually took the biggest one and popped it on there because I'm gonna say it again, I got big hands. So um, I'm gonna find my grip that I like the best, but I think it's probably gonna be this bigger one here. But the main reason I bought this gun is for these side paddles or the side straps as well. Um, so. Uh, HNK actually gives you two different sets of these. So you have the ones that come on the, the gun, you have a little bit bigger side straps, which is the ones I have on here now. Um, so you can see it does kind of protrude out a little bit, but it allows you to get a better purchase on that gun. And actually, you know, it fits. I have actually some area where I can get my support hand on there, uh, which most guns don't come with that, but just allows you to have a, a bigger fill of the gun. Um, so I do like that a lot. And then it does come with a set of smaller, more thin um, side straps as well. So um, I am a fan of that for that. I'm a fan of this gun for that specific reason. Um, not a lot of manufacturers have these side panels here and I, I really like them. So um, 
I have not yet shot this gun. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow and then doing my first 100 round um, review of the gun. Um, but some other things we have here, you are going to have the finger grooves. A lot of people don't like finger grooves. For some reason, this actually fits perfectly in my hand. So you can see here, it just it wraps and my fingers fit perfectly right into those finger grooves. So I cannot complain about that at all. But guys, that was all I wanted to go over. Just gonna show you what's in the box, show you my, kind of give you my first impressions. Um, so my overall first impressions of this gun is, wow. Um, this is probably one of the most expensive guns I've ever purchased outside of that Walther PPQ. Um, and H and K, obviously, it's just such a good, you know, such a good name. It really is, um, you know, a lot of people in a lot of people's eyes, it's you know, king when it comes to handguns. Um, so that's why I went with the gun. But first impressions, like I said, uh, beautiful gun, fits fantastically in my hand. Um, so I'm super excited to shoot this thing um, to see how well it shoots. And I've heard it's no slouch in that department. So, but like I said, we'll be back here probably next week with a uh, 100 round review of this gun. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub um, and uh, turn that notification bell on. So when I do come out with that uh, review, you are one of the first to be notified. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.